Okay, in this lesson, we're gonna focus on how to print your A1 drawings to A3. So please note, when you're doing a series of drawings and we request them to be done on A1, make sure that it's an A1 sheet. There is another video that you can watch, which indicates or highlights step by step how do you achieve that. But in essence, all that you need to understand, if you need to print this A1 drawing to an A3, these two steps we can follow. So in, in the first step, we are going to set up our sheet. So right click, so go to Page Setup Manager. You see you've got some page set up already. If I go and modify this, that should pretty much be like this. Okay, so follow these principles, but we always work on one to, on an A1. See, so we work to scale. We print out A3s just so that we can revise and review your work instead of printing out an A1 which is quite expensive. So we recommend that you keep an A3 pack of all your drawings which we will then mark up from time to time. Okay, but in essence you need to remember you need to work on the correct size of sheet A1 so you'll need to stick to this format. However, if you would like to print this A1 to an A3 it's pretty straightforward. What you do is you're going to go to Page Setup Manager. You're going to create a new page setter, A3. Okay, you keep everything else the same except you change this setting to A3. Okay, and you're going to say fit. I'm not going to say sit. I'm going to say scale 1 to 50. Okay, in essence, we are changing the scale, so it's literally 50%, so it's one, one to two, okay? So that is 50%. I know in AutoCAD is a different setting when we print it again in another bit of software, so in essence, I've scaled it exactly by half, okay? So I'm gonna go and say scale line weights. This is quite neat because it will adjust the line weights to work with an A3, but in essence, this is still an A1 in theory. Okay, so I don't switch off this and you'll see if I go to preview that this should print perfectly on an A3. Okay, so you'll see that everything will be legible and if I zoom in, everything will still be legible on A3. So, if you want to print an A1 to an A3 from AutoCAD, you can follow this step and if I press OK and double click to make this, nothing will change. If I go to Control P now and remember the sheet, sheet 1, Page Setup Manager, you'll see that it's assigned my page setup for A3. Now if I go and print, so use the print icon and make sure everything is correct and I press OK and I'll save this to my desktop. Save. Now if the drawing opens, okay, I can go and get the document's properties. So, and here you can see the actual size of this PDF and you can see it's the correct size here at the bottom. Okay, so that's how you know. However, another way that you can do this, I'm going to open up an A1 PDF that I have. So I'm just going to open up a drawing example set quickly. Okay, so I've opened up a, an example set of drawings that you're familiar with. So if I go to the menu and I go to document properties, you'll notice that these are all A1 sheets. So you can print them to A1. However, through PDF, you can then convert them differently. So if I go to print now, I'm just going to use the Minolta, which is a good example. It's like what we use in the building. You can see that if I go to properties and you can do this from the computer lab, I can change this to A3. Press OK. And here, all I need to do is change my scale to 50%, I'm doing exactly the same thing, okay, and you will see now that this will adjust to suit, okay, and I'm just going to say current page only, so if you want to print in the, our labs and use the printers on campus, this is how you will go about doing it, okay, so you'll make sure everything else is the same and you can press print and that will print to the correct size, okay. Okay, so let's just do that again. Print, Microsoft to PDF, advanced properties, make sure that it's an A3. 
Okay, so we're scaling it down, make sure it's a current document, make sure everything else is set correctly. You can say, you can change this to portrait landscape, but you can see if this will fit. Just remember that must be 50, 50%. 50 okay, and I'm gonna say one copy, current page, 50%, exactly that. And then make sure that this is an A3. Press OK, print. I'm gonna save this on my desktop. One, save, give it a couple seconds. Okay, if we go and look on the on my desktop, there will be an A1 PDF, and if we open up that PDF, it will open it up correctly. You'll notice it'll look correct, it'll fit the sheet correctly, but if I go to menu and I go to document properties, you'll notice that this is an A3. Okay, so that's the preferred method. Please don't set up a series of A3 sheets and try and put all your drawings in a series in A3. It's work on an A1, but print it to A3. Okay.